Hello everyone and welcome back. So yeah, we're doing a what if uh, Uranus's moons but we did Ares. So let's see I got everything set up. Well I've realized there was anything beyond Uran just will not hold it. Ares. Alright, let's get started. So right away it goes in a binary with Ares. I mean no it's uh, no it's a satellite with Ariel. Ah, oh, where's Ariel? Interesting. Ariel's smaller, smaller than uh. Ar Ariel's smaller than uh. I can't think. Eris. <laughs> All right. So yeah, Oberon's also not having the best time here. Can barely hang on. Speed up time a little bit. A lot of stuff is going on. Oh no, Pluck. Oh, Pluck is still here. Okay, never mind. No, did a pluck escape already? No, it hasn't. Okay. Let's be able to time some more. Whoa! We're on Eris. It is a little inner moon right here. It's probably gonna collide with Eris or not. Let's be able to time some more. Holy. Some of these moons have just escaped. Some of these I'm just gonna delete because they aren't really orbiting. Uh, I don't know what's even going on anymore. Oh, Titania just, just got slingshot slingshotted out of there. I don't really know. Okay, this one also got slingshotted. I'm gonna be honest, I don't <laughs> know how this one's orbiting, so. I think it I think the same thing is gonna happen happen with other few moons. It's just it's probably gonna get slingshotted out. Doesn't seem to be. I'm just gonna say at one point it's just gonna get slingshotted. Right, what's left? Oberon and Eris, the farthest out moon of Uranus, or the farthest major major moon, has survived. Well, now it's in a binary. Okay. Okay, about a month. All right. So yeah, this is I guess what would happen if Uranus's moons uh, orbited Eris. All of them would say goodbye to Eris, and Oberon would be in a binary with Eris. Yeah, um, see you next one. Bye.